Hey folks, come on here, come on! At your Saturday morning service. Yes, here we go again. Oh, the ancient Mackenzie. Literally my favorite tartan of all time. It's a rare one. I've never seen it anywhere else in fact, and I absolutely adore it. It's certainly too big for me, so I have to like fold it over at the top, otherwise it just falls straight down. We don't want that now, do we? So folks, how are we all? Hope we're doing well. Now, before we get to the actual nitty gritty of this video, and let me just adjust that camera there, because it's looking a bit slightly skew if. Sort of. Lighting seems a bit strange today. We've just had an absolute deluge. Honest to God, the rain come down and it was biblical. I couldn't record the video before because it was that loud. It was battering down that heavy. Anyway, before we get to the actual nuts and bolts of this video, um, I've got a slight confession to make. A wee confession. You all know how I've been bigging up the Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance, the big Netflix prequel season, um, Leviathan production, all puppetry. Yes, I've done a couple of videos on it already. And last night I was saying to everyone, stop watching me and go and watch Dark Crystal. And then let's all chat about it afterwards. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to finish this video and I'm going to go and watch it now. I did finish that video and I did go and watch it. And I fell asleep 10 minutes in. 10 minutes into it, I was over the, the arm of the chair like that, into a deep, deep sleep. Now, I've had one hell of a long, hellish week at work. I've been doing basically double shifts, and I have been absolutely exhausted. That's no excuse, though, because I was looking forward to that bloody show. Well, I still am, because I've still got it. I've still got to see it. <laughs> Some of you are probably way ahead of me. You've probably finished it. You binge-watched it as I advised you to do so, because that's what I was going to do. No, 10 minutes I lasted. But what a great 10 minutes that was. I just, I was stupefied by the visuals and the majestic storytelling. And it just lulled me into a beautiful, blissful sleep. No, actually, it would be the 12, maybe 14 large whiskies I'd had in the hours just beforehand. Which probably did me in. Moral of the story is, if you're going to watch something which you've been looking forward to, don't drink beforehand. Or if you do drink, then don't stop drinking. Carry on drinking whilst watching it, and you'll be fine. It's the stopping point is the uh, is the stumbling block. Anyway, right. I'll get back onto Dark Crystal when I've, seen, when I've bloody seen it. <laughs> you guys tell me <laughs> is it any good? Stevie Smith, big Stevie Smith. Now this guy has sent me something, and he only sent it yesterday, and it's arrived this morning. It's here now. Now he told me. Hope you like it. And it's, um, it's film related. It's right up your street. But I don't know what it is. But the package is here. So, armed with my trusty ski and doop. <laughs> yes, now. Okay, okay. I don't want to guess as to what this is. Um, because... I just, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I need uh, the ski and do, as it happens. I think I can. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this has got to be some kind of picture, print, poster. Well, I was right. It's definitely a picture. It's in a frame. And rather wonderfully, I've opened it with the picture side down, so I still don't know what it is. So what we're gonna do, this, this, this could be really good. I'm gonna bring it out and show it to you guys. <laughs> if it's a picture of me in the nude. <laughs> well, it's not big enough. Ah, <laughs> oh, Stevie, mate, I'm looking forward to this. He's a great subscriber, good friend on Facebook as well. Ah, oh, the poor ski and do was utterly redundant. Well, I'm bound to do this, and it'll be upside down. <laughs> oh, I'm dead excited. I love stuff like this. Okay, okay, right. Packaging goes away. Okay, right, 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 right. Now, I'm going to bring this up, and hopefully, hopefully, before I do it, I hope I've got the mute. See, 
you know me, I always play the music. He said it's formulated, so I must have the music to it, must have. I just hope I've got it on the computer. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Look at that. You seeing this? Look at that. Isn't that absolutely amazing? It's like... Well, it, it's almost... It's a canvas, but with the frame. It looks like a tapestry. There he is. Angel eyes. There's Tuco. Hey, Blondie. You know what you are. You're no good son of a... Oh, we've got the music. Come on now. We must have the music here somewhere. Oh, don't tell me I haven't got it on that bloody computer. I must have. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh. There's for a few dollars more. There's a fiscal dollars. Ah, oh, come on. There's Joe Kid. Oh, don't tell me I haven't got it. That's... Oh, that's terrible on my part there. It's got to be here. <laughs> Do forgive me, folks, while I mess around here. God, I've got it on everything else. Every other platform known to man. Why haven't I got it on the computer? Oh, hell fire. <laughs> no, no, I definitely have not got it here. Well, that's a bit of a pisser, isn't it? We'll have to make do with... Uh, right. It'll have to do. Stevie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mate. I can't find the bloody soundtrack to it. Look at that. Steve. That's fucking awesome, man. Fucking awesome. Oh, so what we have got, though. In homage. Steve, mate, that is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And I know where it's going to go as well. There's one room which Mrs. Kiltman does not allow uh, posters or anything movie related on the walls. And that room, ironically enough, is the cinema room. <laughs> it's got all the speakers in there. It's got a massive screen, you know, hundreds and thousands of movies. But it's also the living room. So Mrs. Kiltman likes the walls to be preserved. She's got pictures of her own on there. Parisian um, cityscapes, the Moulin Rouge, you know. I'm lying, there is one film related piece in there, which is a uh, uh, film, film cells from the thing in a nice frame. But I don't think even Mrs. Kiltman would refuse that because that's a work of art. It's going in there. Stevie, you've played a blinder there, mate. An absolute blinder. I love it. I absolutely, genuinely love it. Look at it. It's actually an unusual um, image from the movie. There were, God, numerous posters from this movie. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Numerous posters. All the, like, variations on the trio, you know, in different poses. I've never seen that image before. I don't recall ever seeing that before, and, and I think it's fabulous. You've got Tuco with the noose, because he's always getting hanged, isn't he? And then, you know, Blondie in their big ruse. From a distance, he'll sniper shoot the rope so he gets away with it, and they get the money, you know. It's all their, their ruse. They're a double act, but they, don't, they can't trust each other. And you've got this crafty bastard here. Union officer and mercenary par excellence, sadistic son of a bitch. He's so sympathetic in for a few dollars more, and yet he's such an evil swine in the good, the bad, and the ugly. And of course, Blondie. He's 
Manco in one film. He's uh, what's he called the other one? He's never been the man with no name. He's always had a name. Blondie in this. Manco in a few dollars more. What the hell is he in there? If it's worth dollars. I've forgotten. <laughs> oh, I told you the memory cells are leaving me in fleets and droves at the moment. Look at this. Look the Civil War references to it as well. You've got cannons, the charges over here, cannons over here. They're trying to build that bridge, aren't they? The Union trying to hold that bridge. Or destroy the bridge, I should say. But you've got to time it right. And it's one of Sergio Leone's biggest ever set pieces with hundreds of extras, unions on one side of the river, Confederates on the other side of the river. And in between this, you've got Blondie and Tuco. And in a rare moment when they realise, look, let's do something right here, they're the ones who are going to blow that bridge. And in reality, the bridge went off at the wrong time. They, they mistimed the explosion, and it's, it's a whopping big explosion. And it's a huge long bridge, and the whole lot goes up and then crashes down. But even though... Chas and David. <laughs> Let's get off that. Let's go on to. Oh, I know what we should do. Uh, I know it's not from this film, but sadly, Stevie, you, you played a blinder and you also managed to pull the, the rug from under me because it didn't have the music. Ah! <laughs> I need a thought. Come on now, guilt man. But yeah, they blow the bridge and if they've mistimed it, it's a huge, big explosion. And in a way, it works better because, as Sergio Leone says, like you know, look, we got proper, genuine reactions from everybody around. If it was choreographed to what they were supposed to do, it wouldn't have been anywhere near as effective as when it actually goes up and you see the genuine surprise on people's faces, you know, and the way that they run back as well. <laughs> but it's that is a work of art, mate. Gen genuine work of art. Come on, guys, can you see that well? Beautiful. That is an absolute thing of beauty. Oh, I'm so made up, you know. You'll send me a bill now. <laughs> There'll be an invoice. That's £900 now, please, Mr. Kilman. <laughs> but that's my... That's my whiskey budget for like half the week, for God's sake. You can tell I've been drinking a lot of whiskey lately, because look, look at the jowlage. My face is taking on a rather weird appearance. Actually, it looks like my dad's face. My dad, who, by the way, is still alive. Yes, he was dying. Yes, he was diagnosed as half an hour to live. And yes, that was five weeks ago. About five, four or five weeks ago. And uh, he's still going. <laughs> That's the Macaninis for you. They're immortal, I tell you. Look at that, though. And it's just fabulous, mate. Oh, I genuinely made up. So this arrived this morning, and uh, I thought, I'll run down and do it. And then that rain come down. Now the sun is absolutely blasting down. <sighs> Can't make, look, you can see, you can always tell when, it, when the sun's wacky, because look at that, I, it glitches the screen out. Uh, one day I'll have a proper studio, I will. But there you go, folks. Big Stevie Smith. Genius, mate. Genius. You're gonna tell me now at some point that you made this, <laughs> that that is your artwork, aren't you? And I'll go. I'll be. I'll, I'll have to do another video going. Like, oh my god, it's even better than I first thought. You didn't make this, did you? Did you? I don't know. You have to let me know, mate. And you can always lie and say, yeah, you did. <laughs> but that is absolutely beautiful. flags are shot through as well and the way that it's depicted here it's like the old uh, illustrations of the Civil War which would which were copied off photographs they took photographs of the, the American Civil War and the actual engravings and paintings and their uh, drawings were always taken from those pictures so that's why they have such a vivid quality to them and like, you see all the, you know the expressions on the faces of all the, uh, the fighters all the breastworks, sorry, the earthworks. 
this is depicting the, the two armies on opposing sides of the river. I think there's also a subtle clue here, or rather less than subtle clue, that I was doing um, a series of reviews on the um, Spaghetti Western soundtracks. I did Fistful, I did um, a few dollars more, and I, I, I was building up to this. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. And like Stevie's going, remember, you were going to finish that series off. Well, there's some incentive for you. There's the one you missed out. You got me, boy. You got me. That is absolute genius. Remember, with the dodgy hand, couldn't do that. What does that tell you? The hand is better. It's actually not better, it's broken. I have a broken bone there. The meta carpals are busted. But it's funny, I, I've mentioned it, it's begun to hurt. It's been fine. But what it is, is uh, from an impact. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I've done it, to be honest. Um, just one of those things, I suppose. I'm always messing about, I'm always farting around, I'm always training. So I, I don't know, I've smacked it somehow. But what's happened is the, um, the bones have begun to heal. And that, that's when the, uh, the pain comes in, when the bones begin to knit back together again. There's nothing you can do with it anyway. You, know, you can't bind up a hand, there's nothing you can do. And although it did cause a bit of, you, you saw, I couldn't go, actual service, because that finger was all crunched over like that, and the hand couldn't go beyond, you know, that kind of grip. Well, as you can see now, there we go. And I couldn't. I could not with this hand. Cock the army colt, fired it. Cock it again. I just couldn't do it. My hand wouldn't hold it. I had no grip, no, no strength in it. But now it works. Let's get this just right. I bet you can see me through this guy because it's like it's a canvas print, so. So in the background you've got, hey! <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Folks, I have um more unboxings to do today. In fact, just when I was about to start this video, there was a knock at the door. I won't do that just yet. That'll be that'll be later. Um, in the meantime and in between time, uh, folks, keep it western, keep it spaghettiized, and uh, keep it kilted, keep it Celtic. I got it right. I got my own tagline right for once. Um, another big thanks to Steve. That was awesome, truly awesome, mate. I'm right, totally right up my streets, as you know. You know. <laughs> I love the fact, sorry, back again. There's only the slightest splash of colour in the flags and down here in the title. The rest, it's very subdued, it's, it's muted. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So you get the impression of the dust caked, you know, landscape that it's filmed in. Only slight, highly stylized colourings on the clothing and on the faces. Just Majestic, mate. An absolute beauty. Thanks so much. Um, right, guys, I'm going to leave it there, uh, but I'll be back very shortly because, uh, as I say, there's another package there. <laughs> and I do know what's in there. Or rather, I think I know what's in there. One of the things, that's, there's two things in there. One of the things I've heard conflicting reports about, and I'm just hoping that what I saw is what I've got, you know, when I ordered it. In the meantime, you guys, have fun, keep it safe, drink whiskey, drink tea. Steve, here's to you, mate, here's to you. Have a good one. And I don't think even Mrs. Kilty's going to complain about that. So, you might have done the unthinkable. You've won her over. Shit, I've been married to her for like, 30 years, and I still haven't done that. Folks, I'm going to see you all 